Welcome back. The sun getting ready to rise over the horizon here in Boise. And uh, if you look really closely, you don't know how good the definition on your TV is, and it's kind of fading out now, but if you look right there, there's a little light over the horizon. And a Facebook friend asked me, is that a UFO? I, I think it's actually Venus, and it shows up this time of day, uh, showing up very nicely just a little while ago, but it, it demonstrates how clear our skies are this morning, and for that reason, we have some chilly temperatures. It's 30 degrees right now at the Boise Airport. A wind out of the east to southeast at 5 miles per hour, and you wouldn't think that would have a huge impact, but it does make it feel a lot colder. 30s across the board in the valley here from Ontario to Caldwell to Boise. That's our temperature, and where there is wind blowing, it feels colder than that. We have wind chills in the 20s in some locations. The wind chill in Boise at 25. It feels like 15 degrees right now in Mountain Home. Feels like 17 in Twin Falls. So a chilly start to what will be a nice sunny day today. Our temperatures will be slightly warmer than they were yesterday, but only slightly. The good news is we won't have as much wind today, so it will feel appreciably warmer than it was yesterday. Here you see the clear skies that we have. Not much happening at all. Some clouds coming on shore and a few showers starting to show up around the Portland area and that's because there's another storm system moving toward the Pacific coast and it will bring lots of moisture with it. We're expecting to see some rain especially during the day on Friday and ahead of that storm system some warm air coming into the picture so as I said today will be slightly warmer than yesterday but from today to tomorrow we'll see anywhere from a 10 to 15 degree temperature jump in most locations especially here in the valley. We'll get more cloud cover but we'll warm things up before that storm system comes through and when it comes through on Friday, it will bring more rain, increasing the flooding danger. And behind that rain, a cold front that will drop our temperatures back down to the low 50s for afternoon highs on the weekend. Our future cast showing where we are now. Clear skies. Not until tomorrow do we start to see some cloud cover, maybe even a scattered shower or two over some mountain locations in the form of snow. Wednesday, those clouds come and go. And then the thicker clouds starting to come into the picture for Thursday. Those clouds will continue continue to thicken up throughout the day on Thursday and that will lead to a chance of showers by Thursday night, especially into Friday and we could see some lingering showers for the weekend as well. In the meantime, afternoon highs today will be in the mid 50s in most valley locations. We'll call it breezy, not all that bad. Winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour at the most. We'll see plenty of sunshine throughout the day today. That'll be the case up in the west central mountains as well where we have mostly sunny skies in the forecast, maybe a bit of a breeze in some of those canyons, but a pretty nice day on tap. Afternoon highs warmer than they were yesterday, but still below average. At least we'll make it into the 40s in places like McCall. Some of those places only made it into the 30s yesterday. Mostly sunny skies for the East Central Mountains as well. A nice dry sunny day. Afternoon highs in the low 40s. Magic Valley into the 50s today, but it will be a little bit breezy. You will have plenty of sunshine though, and the extended forecast shows our high temperature of 55 today, all the way up to 68 tomorrow. The chance of showers starts late in the day on Thursday a high likelihood of rain on Friday and that cold front cools us down just in time for the weekend again by Saturday and Sunday a high temperature each day of 52.